If a spouse refuses to perform conjugal duties, what recourse does the neglected spouse have? Will masturbation be a sin in that instance? Even though this question is not directly related to the subject matter, but it, it is an alarm. The question itself is, is quoted in form of an alarm. There is no reason why masturbation should be an option. Masturbation can satisfy you today, but it may not satisfy you next week. You will need to advance beyond masturbation to get sensual satisfaction. And you will still need to advance. So when you start with masturbation, where do you end? Are you there? Oh, you're not there. You're not following me. You're not following me. It is only when you, you apply the use of sex within the context of God's ordination that you are not going to fall out of line. Now, the guy is denying you what is your due in marriage. There are two options of what to do. The first option is to engage him in a discussion. The second option is to pray. Those are the two options. Yeah, somebody in the congregation is a pastor. Because of your reaction, I may need to do a lecture that is not in this series, just to show you how God deals with such issues. So if a popular vote demands that I do that teaching, I will leave this series and use one day to do a teaching for you. To show you the kind of grace that God makes available in order to keep such a believer that is depraved and impact the ability for that person to operate right, even under circumstances where the person is vulnerable to be exploited by the ideas of Satan. The Bible says when sin abounds, the grace of God doth much more abound. I went to, I was posted to Lagos. And my wife had to be in Benue State as a sign that we have not moved, that we are still interested in the college. Because if I had moved her to Lagos, it would look as, as if we are no longer interested, we are no longer missionaries. So I had to labor, keep my wife here as a sign that I have not left. Because she's equivalent to me. So, all right? Do you know how many years I went? We were deprived from conjugal bliss. And in all these years, there was no woman that I was with. I did not violate my covenant to her for 11 years. And I was away for 11 years. So I'm not telling you what I don't know in a sort. There is a grace that God can plunge you into that you will be fine. Oh, you, are, you don't believe me. But you are, you, are, you are witnesses that I was not here. I was fine. I didn't have a babe in the night. The place I stayed in Surulere, if I had a babe, you would hear. It was a block of flats. How many, how many flats were there? 500 and something flats. It was Games Village. That's where I stayed in Surulere, Lagos. Bode Thomas Road, very popular road for those of you that know Lagos. The way the estate is structured, if I bring a babe, you will know. Or if a babe is sneaking into my room, because on my floor, there are four flats. If somebody is sneaking, they will know. They know. You can't run any deal there. And it will also interest you to know that I was not staying alone. I had a head in the place, because that was my own strategy for keeping safe. Are you, are you with me? Because Satan is planning, I had to plan too. I came back without the refinement. And the response of heaven for that situation was that the oil here increased. Then later, today now that I'm a missionary, I saw why God passed me through that process. 
I preach in different lands today. I already have the training of fidelity. I have seen the most beautiful women in the world, but I don't desire them. I have a golden woman in my tent. <laughs> Come on, Yeti! <laughs> There was a day I was in a, a near plane crash situation and the plane was in nose dive. The only thing I thought of was this woman. That if I leave this world, is it my preaching? I, did, I didn't miss my preaching. I didn't miss my job. I didn't miss anything. The only thing I would have missed was the golden woman. All of Are you still with me? Where sin abounds, the grace of God much more. That situation, if you relate with it accurately, you will see a dimension of grace that you have never seen in your life before. Is that clear? And my desire, my desire, my desire is to walk with you, my Savior.